I cannot believe that the Orthodox government agrees on pro-life and on pro-death. Buzz agreed on both bipolar sides. On one side, the Orthodox government is pro-death because they support criminal records, shootings by Orthodox law enforcement, and death penalties. After all, legal information and legal actions are forms of bullying, thus leading defendants to death so human authorities can get the glory. On the other side, the same Orthodox government is pro-life because they support suicide prevention. What is the point of having suicide prevention while superiors keep downgrading people frequently and seriously by enforcing red tape to people? Why would superiors commanded people to help themselves after superiors frequently and seriously commanded people not to help themselves of anything in the first place, thus post-traumatic stress disorder. Being denied for permission of any type counts as not helping oneself. We live in a world that superiors seriously command people not to help themselves to anything so superiors can have everything by deceit with untouchable excuses of not getting caught by not taking responsibility. Life and death are two bipolar sides and the orthodox government cannot choose both bipolar sides, like a mixture of oil and of water. I believe that surrendering to orthodox law enforcement counts as suicide, thus pro-death. And I believe that registering as a sex offender counts as suicide, thus pro-death. Once person A is on the enemy list of orthodox law enforcement. The clue is bug shots and fingerprints. Person A loses all opportunities forever. That is fighting guilty until proven innocent. For the pro-law people, why do we have to obey commands slash sentences that lead to our own self-destruction. Orthodox law enforcement has guns and power of incarceration slash kidnapping with handcuffs to harm people, not to protect people, mentally and slash war physically. Orthodox law enforcement officials are armed and dangerous and they give trouble to people and the orthodox law enforcement is part of the orthodox government because orthodox law enforcement is in the side of the orthodox government example Orthodox law enforcement enforces pro-licensing laws, so the Orthodox government can get rich quickly. And because the Orthodox government owns the Orthodox law enforcement. What is the point of having a trial when there were so many guilty verdicts in past 
court cases to hurt the feelings of past defendants psychologically. Legal services are a waste of time and of money. Regardless of the verdict, orthodox lawyers and orthodox judges get rich quickly from plaintiffs and slash war from defendants by force. Orthodox courts are allies with orthodox law enforcement to set up the conspiracies against people because the orthodox courts are part of the orthodox government and because orthodox government owns the orthodox courts too. The United States is no longer a country of we the people anymore. The orthodox government puts people between a rock and a hard place psychologically by using the law as a weapon so the orthodox government can have 100% of the glory by claiming the whole country solely. If the orthodox government could not make up their mind to favor which side to be the absolute, I would use the make up your mind and I door to make orthodox government's decision to be firm. According to Psalm 118 verses 8 to 9, it is better to trust in God more than to put confidence in humans or in human government because humans and human government deceive people. Humans from governments of any level are not God because humans are God's creation and because humans sin since Adam's sinning from Genesis. God is the one who controls life and death, not human government. Human government has no right to control people to life or to death. 